have been extremely eventful and um um uh, maybe life altering i have a, a gigantic opportunity sitting in front of me that may take me to uh new heights i have an incredible opportunity in front of me that can take me to new heights along with all of the things that i already do all day every day um you know, I got a lot of shit on Joe's plate, and I had I couldn't I couldn't be here last week. I, I missed y'all too, man. I could I just I I just I I shit I couldn't. I had to I, I it, it was I shit. <laughs> I missed y'all too, man. I had a ton of shit going on, and. This is this weekend chopped down. All right, this is this weekend chopped down. <laughs> Damn, Alan, my bad. I ain't know you missed me like that, pimp. I'm at the Sacramento, drove to Fresno, drove back to Sacramento. So I stayed. Yay. This is the show I was on. I was fresh. That's backstage right before I go up. That's how many people was in there. That's me on stage. That's me on stage right there. Look, man, I'm telling y'all, when I come to y'all town, come see my show. Come see me in your town. Listen. Woo! All right, so that, that's, that's the little video I made, right? Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. So I'm going to explain it. Let me explain. So, <laughs> Lisa said, you ain't even supposed to tell us we was canceled. We ain't canceled, Lisa. I just had shit to do. That's all. I just had some shit to do. I left Friday morning at, my flight left at 6, 
625 Friday morning out of BWI is when I left. Go ahead, Alan. 625 Friday morning is when I left. I flew DC, BWI to Chicago, Chicago to Sacramento. I got into Sacramento, California and drove to Fresno, California. Checked into my hotel, laid down, got back up, took a shower, worked out. I worked out, took a shower, went to on the stage and smashed that joint, right? But by the time I got off stage in Sacramento um, and got finished with the show in Sacramento, it was like I had been up for 90 billion hours. Because remember, there's an additional three hours added to the day because I had... Had to travel. So by the time I got off the stage, it was it was nine something there, which means it was midnight here. So imagine going from six in the morning all the way to not doing your show until midnight. Exactly. And driving two and a half, damn near three hours, right? Then I got up the next morning, hopped up, and then drove back to Sacramento the two and a half hours. This one was a little different. Stayed at the Hard Rock casino, uh, laid my black ass down, got up, went, did my show, smashed that joint, and then uh, my flight was leaving at 5.50 in the morning. So I got off stage, the show was done, uh, you know, around 11. I got done 11, 11.30, Left quarter to 12, laid my black ass down, got back up at three something to get to the airport on time so that I can get changed, you know what I'm saying? And then caught the airport, caught the plane at 5.50 in the morning from Sacramento to fly back to D.C. Got here yesterday afternoon around 4 o'clock, 3.40, 3.45, and then had to come back and, you know, do daddy shit, and I'm tired. <laughs> this morning I woke up I said man I'm tired as shit you hear me you hear me y'all hear me I'm tired I'm, I'm tired as sh I, look at me don't look tired I'm tired and so um, but it was very rewarding um, being back out on tour in that manner uh, feels incredible look, I got a beautiful, look, let me show y'all some of the shots this was this weekend. Look, y'all. Yay, I got a beautiful shot. Shout out to anybody from Shot Town. Is this it? Uh, oh, yeah, here you go. Oh, hold on. Yeah, shout out to Chicago. Ain't that a dope shot? Don't even look real. Don't even look real, but it was real. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You look like a no-call, no-show. You on a 90-day probation. Go ahead with that shit. Yeah, I was on the move. I had to go all the way to the west and come back to the east. I made it happen. I made it happen. Um, You know, it, it, it took some, some, some doing, though. You better believe it. It took a whole bunch of doing. Oh, check this out. Check this out, y'all. Uh, going out on the road is, is dope because you get to make, you know, now new people get to see me, people who haven't seen me ever before, or people who, who said me too? Uh, oh, y'all tired. Um, people who haven't seen me in a good while get to see me. Check this out, y'all. Check this out right here. Oh no, that's the wrong one. My bad. Uh, check this out. So I had a phenomenal time tonight here at the Hard Rock. I just met this brother. What's your name, brother? Sir, George Jackson. And George, you, you never heard of me before. Never heard of you before, but tonight I'm definitely a fan. So, so <laughs> oh, let me start that off. So I had a phenomenal time tonight here at the Hard Rock. I just met this brother. What's your name, brother? Jackson. And you, you me before. Never. But tonight I'm down. 
So, sure. <laughs> so I did my thing tonight. You killed it, bro. You absolutely killed it. Absolutely killed it. All right. So when so when I come to people's city, they should come see me. They need to come see you. You need to be. They need to be in your presence, man. For real. That's real talk. <laughs> this man, he's the man. Period. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> you heard what the man said. Hey, he got a badge thing on. Damn it. So I had a. Yeah, that happened this weekend. Yeah. I'm size. 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 I was out on. I was. That was in the. That was at the. Oh, so people still coming on in. People still coming. Well, come on in. Uh, I'm explaining what happened over the last couple of days. Um, I had to fly to the West Coast for some shows. And the shows were phenomenal. I did really, really well. Let me show you how many people turned out. This how many people was in Sacramento. Of course, I was on with some more. And then, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was on some more's show. Don't, don't get it twisted. It was some more's show. Uh, I was on her show. Uh, don't, don't, don't. Hold on, where, where it go? Um, oh, um, I was on some more show. It was not my show. You understand what I'm saying? I, w I was a fly on the wall. Uh, and I had great shows. I had great, 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 great shows. Me, some more Lavelle Crawford and Bruce Bruce. Um, so I was out with, you know, heavy hitters, uh, the greats. Um, this is how many people was out. So there. I had a phenomenal time tonight here. Oh, no, the hard not rock. That. I just met this brother. What's your name, brother? Yes, sir, George Jackson. And George, you, you hold on, that ain't it. So I had a phenomenal time. That ain't it, Neil. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck? Yeah, this is how many people did like. Ain't it was packed it was packed out there it was um you know lots and lots of folks and i had a great time i had a, i had a great 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 time i did my thing y'all would have been proud y'all would have been very very proud of me i rocked out as you can see that man said you the man. You the man, Joe. I had never heard of you before in your life. Um, and, of course, everybody on the show is a complete monster. Some more. Bruce Bruce. Lavelle Crawford. They make me want to be a better comedian. Uh, Bruce is upstairs, T. I was working with people that I wish I could be as funny as. You hear me? And so... Really, really dope. Miss Charlie Joe, Mike told me you live next door to him. My man, Mike. So everybody, Miss Charlie Joe lives next door to my, one of my, ca the camera guy I work with almost every other day uh, is Miss Charlie Joe's neighbor. He, he said he asked, he said that y'all met and, and you told him that you know me. He was like, he don't, you don't know no Joe Claire. And then she, uh, then she, uh, boom, boom, boom. Anyway, he, anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm so I'm, I'm sorry I missed y'all. I'm sorry I missed y'all. Sorry I missed y'all. Thanks for checking in for me. I had shit to do. I was gone, and there was no way. Once I got on the plane on Friday morning to say I'm gone. By the time I got to uh, Chicago, I was so that and my layover in Chicago was abs was 40 minutes. So I got off the plane, had to get right back on the plane. It was on and popping. Uh, so. Joe Claire for sure out here doing his thing. It is 9.22 in the morning time. Uh-huh. 9.22 in the morning time. The moment of clarity is all about chasing your dreams, man. I put it on Instagram yesterday. Go chase your dreams. Chase your dreams, chase your dreams, chase your dreams. Get up and go for yours. Because... Look, man, if you watched the Grammys last night, you know, these are there's no difference between the people on the Grammys and, and us. The difference is they, they went after it 
And then they, they had faith in themselves and believed in themselves. And let's take Lizzo, for example. Uh, you know, Lizzo talks about how uh, uh, one of her songs that became a hit was, you know, she, she, that last, the first, the album that became a hit, Lizzo was like, I'm not making no more music. She had, she had come so, um, pissed off about the music that she's like, I'm not doing this no more. Look, y'all. I need to show y'all something. Uh, I had uh, this too. I need to show y'all. I'm a right foodie. Here. Y'all know I love to eat. Now see this right here. I'm gonna give you your life. See this right here. Look, it's Mexican ramen about with, this with with brisket beef in it. Beef ramen. <laughs> Put the chip in it, Joe. Put the chip in it, Joe. Listen, that is Mexican uh -huh. ramen with this that right barbacoa here. in it. I see this right here. Oh, it was life. so good. See this right I here. I can't even tell y'all how good that shit was right there. I can't even tell y'all. Trying to know about this. How good that shit run. was right there. I cannot explain to y'all how delicious that shit is right there. You know I love to eat. You hear me? I love to eat. I'm gonna let y'all keep looking at it. Uh-huh. Salivating over it. This right here. Let's see this right here. That thing was so good. Give you your life. See, Hold on, I got right something here. else I wanna show y'all. Hold up. Got something else I wanna show y'all. Try to know about this beef ramen. It was so good, y'all. You hear me? I put can't even explain it, Joe. Put the to chip you. in it, Joe. Hold up, that's not all. When I go to the West Coast, this right here. I'm strictly Asian. See this and right Mexican. here. I'm gonna give you your life. See this right here. When I go to the West Coast, I'm strictly Asian and Mexican. It was so delicious. You hear me? Oh, check this out. Check this out. And where it go? Uh, this it? No, that ain't it. Fuck, where you go? Oh, um, I be uploading shit and I don't see where it go. Okay, yeah, here you go. That is a breakfast burrito. A straight up and down. This was one of the best things I ever tasted in my entire life. I ain't even, I ain't even. Starbucks and a breakfast burrito. Let me tell y'all. Remember in Baby Boy when they went to Lucy's? Y'all remember that movie, Baby Boy, when they went to Lucy's? That's what the kind of, man, that shit was so good. It was so good. Mexican coochie lo mein. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh-huh. That shit was so good. That shit was so delicious. So 927 in the morning time, y'all. Good to see everybody. So glad. So, 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 so sorry that I missed y'all last week. As y'all know, there's a ton of things going on in my life. We will be switching over to uh share zone. But there's also, and I, and I can't reveal it right now. Um, it's right now between me and God, but I will say I have a gigantic opportunity that just presented itself to me that may change how frequently I can even do this morning show. Um, 
I, I got something going on that is major that you all, um, you know, you all would, would really be proud to see me do. Um, and when I can, I will let y'all know, um, you know, what's going on. Chief Tomahawk. Glad to see that. Back to our moment of clarity. He says, my dream was to be an actor. Life took me down a different path, but now I am back on track. There you go. There you go. Don't forget y'all's dreams. Don't forget to dream, everybody. Don't forget to dream, everybody. I had a dream, you know, that one day I was going to be a comedian, but I had that dream years ago. Years and years and years ago. I made a decision to chase that dream in my 20s. And um, I'm still here. You understand? I am still here doing it. As a matter of fact, what I heard this weekend was, welcome back, Joe. We ain't seen you in a minute. Where you been? Cleasy, what's good with you? You know, it's brothers showing up to the show who ain't seen me since Rap City or Comic View. So they ain't seen me in 20 years. Your show sold out on Sunday? What's your Chief Tomahawk? Was you in the play? What show you had on Sunday that sold out? We should have been there. We should have been there to support you. You know what I mean? Check this out, everybody. Hey, this is a simple reminder to tell y'all, go chase your dreams. Go do what you want to with this life. You only get one. I'm on my way back home from rocking out at the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel with some heavyweights and comedy. I had a great set last night. The night before that, I was in Fresno, California. We had a huge auditorium uh, arena full of people we killed that as well and it's all because of decisions i made 30 years ago you know what i'm saying i made some decisions i was scared to make them decisions it didn't sound like it could work it was just a dream but the shit worked and it's still working you understand what i mean go chase yours don't I, if you don't hear no other message today man go chase that all right all right, I'll see y'all back i'll see y'all in a minute man <laughs> out here being cleasy man yeah. Hey, this is a simple reminder to tell y'all, go chase your dreams. Go do what you want to with this life. You only get one. I'm on my way back home from rocking out at the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel with some heavyweights and comedy. I had a great set last night. The night before that, I was in Fresno, California. We had a huge auditorium uh, arena full of people. We killed that as well. And it's all because of decisions I made 30 years ago. You know what I'm saying? I made some decisions. I was scared to make them decisions. It didn't sound like it could work. It was just a dream. But the shit worked. And the shit still working. You understand what I mean? Go chase yours. Don't I, If you don't hear no other message today, man, go chase that, all right? All right, I'll see y'all back. I'll see y'all in a minute, man. I'm <laughs> out here. So there you have it. Chase your dreams, man. Go after your shit. Chief Tomahawk. Says he has a show called No Uncle Josiah Henson. No Uncle Tom. Next Sunday is sold out too. Tickets are still available for Saturday at the amazingtheater.org. I'm going to let you go ahead and I'm going to put that in the middle of mine. Go see him. If we around, go see him. You understand what I mean? I'm out on the road next week, but... um, Yeah, I see you fuss with the Liquid Crew. Tash still be hitting me up. Tash still be hitting me up. Uh, Will. 9.32. Joe Claire Morning Show. Joe Claire Live. Get your black ass up. Uh, Jason. I just bought, I just hate everybody. Please go on to Jason's Instagram page, right? And purchase his album. I just purchased the album yesterday. Um, make sure you go and, and check this brother out. He has an album that just dropped. Make sure you... Uh, oh, we need to talk, Chief Tomahawk. Um, 
Jason has a new album out. Music from the soundtrack, Life on the Rocks. I need y'all to go check that out right now. Go give him his money and his love. Jay, I went out to the West Coast. We This morning, we talking about me on the West Coast. I had shows in uh, Fresno, California, Sacramento, California with some more Bruce Bruce and Lavelle Crawford. I had phenomenal shows, made new fans. Brother walked up to me, said, I had never heard of you before, brother. Black, now, I ain't know it was a black man in, in America who had never heard of Joe Cleaver. However, he had never heard of me, so he was like, look, man, I am a fan. I'm a new fan. Goddamn, I'm a fan. You killed this shit tonight. They need to see you. You are the man. That happened over the weekend. Um, so, yeah, Friday I was in Fresno. Saturday in Sacramento. Flew back yesterday. Um, as y'all can see, I'm, um, um, I'm getting back to life. I am tired. It does take it does take a toll on you. Um, I skipped the workout this morning. I'm going to try to work out this evening when I get back from, uh, from Fox 5. And I'm going to do a slow... Slow recovery ass workout this evening. You hear me? You hear me? Oh! 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 Shit! Cedric Moss, what it do? Yeah, so I had a ball out on the West Coast, man, and being out on the road again is uh, in front of crowds of that nature, of that nature, um, of that size. You know, we playing to people, we playing to, to audiences, 35 to 5,000 people. And it's, uh, it's the shit, man. I ain't gonna front. It is the shit. Um, and it's like, uh, for me, I was never good at sports. Comedy is my sport. Comedy is my, up on stage is my sport. You understand me? It's. It's where I get down. It's how I get down. And, you know, uh, Saturday's show was phenomenal. But Saturday's show was uh, where I realized I was back in the league and was playing with heavy hitters. And it clicked for me. Everything clicked. So all of the theatrics and antics that I could bring to my set, that I can bring to each joke. When you play, when you, when you at a, when you at that level, when you're doing jokes at that level in a big ass place like that, every every nuance, every word, every second is being examined, and, and you want to use it to your fullest to for maximum impact. You want everything to lead to big laughs. Every everything leads lead you know leads into a bigger 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 laugh. And um, Saturday night. I, you know, it's like the shit just clicked and every, everything that I was supposed to happen in my set happened at its highest. So I got an A plus. I got an A plus on Saturday night for sure. That's when the brother was like, I never heard of you, but God damn. So everything was clicking and um, I can't front. It feels incredible. It feels incredible. Like, I can't even, I can't describe it. Um, you know, there's the feeling of, of of the day I saw my kids. There's the feeling of the day I got married. There's the feeling of, uh, you know, great things happening. But it's nothing like getting back out on the road after being gone for years. You know, I haven't toured with some more. The last I haven't toured with some more since 1998 it was the last time I toured with some more. Did more than one show with her. This is my third show with her. It was my third weekend with her, fifth, fourth show. Um, and thank you, Will. Thank you, thank you, uh, <laughs> Nicole. Um, it's, it's like coming back. You know, I always had the respect of Bruce Bruce. I had the respect of Lavelle. I had the respect of some more, but I wasn't out there with them. I was more here and doing East Coast things and that kind of shit. And 
being back out there is shit. Shit, man. It's it's and it's all even like it's even it, and all of it goes back to you know repetitive, staying on my purpose, staying on my dream, staying on the fact that I know I'm on. You know I'm on something. This is what I do, and if I focus, I can get where I want to go. Um, feels great. It feels great. It feels great. It feels great. Um, to to go out there and shoot the three and the motherfucker hit. And to shoot another, to shoot a couple of back-to-back -back threes in the big game, you know, and, and and score for the team. Ain't nothing better than that. It's real dope. So for all of you, I'm going to say it again, for all of you, chase it, chase it, chase it. Go after yours like you are a champion. East Coast, West Coast, worldwide. Word, eh? <laughs> East Coast, West Coast, worldwide. And as you can see, I drove, I had to drive myself from Sacramento to, to Fresno. When you back on tour and you not the biggest name on tour, yeah, the bus don't come pick you up. <laughs> there, is, <laughs> there is no chauffeur. You understand me? There is no, uh, nobody's picking up your bags. None of that shit. It is get your ass in the car and dry and so that's what i did look let me show y'all i had to drive to fresno uh-huh from from sacramento let's see what oh here we go is this it yeah y'all see it Wasn't well, nothing but farmland. And I did take some video of the mountains. I gotta find it. I took video of the mountains and anyway. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is where I was this week. Oh, look, 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 look. let me show y'all. Look, 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 look. Let me show y'all. So if you look off in the distance, see back here in the, all the way near the bottom, y'all see the snow-capped mountains We're right in the distance. For those of y'all with bad eyesight, put your eye, put your glasses on. You ain't gonna be able to see it. Uh, my video skills is the worst. Um, but you know, you seeing mountains and palm trees and the whole shit. It was really dope really really dope um so like since everybody's here let me say this again i have a huge opportunity that just fell in my lap last week that may affect my ability to do this show on a regular basis um and affect some other aspects of my life but it is a gigantic and i mean gigantic opportunity that uh i have to explore that i've chosen to explore I think it can mean a lot for me and my family. And when I can reveal everything, I will reveal everything to you guys um, because you guys have stayed down with me um, from that from from the from the jump of me coming on here. So, you know, as soon as I can tell uh, tell all of the details, I will. Um, I hope it does not affect uh, you know my my monthly comedy shows and shit like that. But. Um, You know, it's, it's, yeah, I had to play back y'all. <laughs> had to play back y'all. That drive was only two and a half hours. Dennis, what's up? Uh, the drive was only two and a half hours. Two and a half to three. I, it, it turned into three and some change because I stopped and got some food, you know. And then I my I, I needed a bat, a, a iPhone charger, so I stopped and got a charger and got another cup of coffee. You know, I took my time driving down to Fresno, got into my hotel, and like I said, um, uh, lay, I did actually, to tell you the truth, I went to Fresno and went to their little ghetto mall. This was the nicest ghetto mall I had ever been in. Wasn't no black people, wasn't no white people. It was all Hispanic. 
And it was well to do Hispanic people and ghetto Hispanic people. And it was beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it was beautiful. And I went and pop, caught me a pair of uh, J's. I felt like if I'm gonna fly all the way to the West Coast and do my thing, the least I could do is treat myself to a pair of J's. And my birthday is one week away from today. So I bought me a birthday present and a Christmas present because I ain't getting nothing for Christmas. So another story. Anyway, so did all of that. Uh, hey, Darrell. Um, but yeah, there's something brewing on the horizon for me, y'all, that will, uh, if, if, I, if I take these steps, I think a year from now, I will be in a completely different position. If I do what I'm supposed to do with this new opportunity, I will be in a whole nother position. And, I'll, and, and of course, uh, I'm going to take whoever's coming with me with me on this journey. Um, I may not be able to do this show like this. Um, I got some ones, but I got the red and black patent leather ones. Woo, they sweet. Um, <laughs> um, I may not be able to do this show like this um, for moving forward, but I'll let y'all know. Uh-huh. History unfolding. Thank you, Nick. Nicole. Uh-huh. Alicia. Yeah, it's it's Ashley. I'm sorry. Ashley Nichols. I'm reading the, I'm reading the, I'm reading Ashley. I'm reading the, the last name like it's back. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, stick with your boy. Uh, and I want to show everybody, you know, this is how shit goes. Um, I hope that I can use what I'm doing. To show y'all what to do right and what to do wrong. Because I make mistakes too. What not the fuck to do. I'm I, On this journey that I'm about to go on. Hopefully I show you what to do. And what the fuck not to do. <laughs> You'll see me make mistakes. Be like alright I ain't doing that shit right there. That's, that's what I'm. That, that's what the fuck I'm. That's what the fuck I'm trying to do. Wow. We at it. Hey Yada. How you doing? Yeah, the way you been. Hey, Janelle. Um, and uh, new music, too. I'm recording this week. Jay, I am recording this week. Uh, hope to put a single out in two weeks. Or however long it takes for, uh, for my man to mix it and master it. I hope to put a single out two to three weeks. And here we go. New music is coming. Uh, comedy is... Y'all, listen, y'all. Let me tell y'all about my set. Come see me. Come when I get to do a set. If I if 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 I get to just do a set and not host, make sure you come see me. Cause, cause, yeah, I'm funny. Like, like, oh, uh, Tiff wanted to see the shirt. Nevada wanted to see the shirt. Gorgeous. Uh, Y'all know my man, Angry angry uh, Expression or Angry Reaction. I forgot his name. Let me tell y'all, man. Uh, I'm funny, huh? You come, I'm funny. Come to my show. Come to my show, man, because I'm, man, when I, the other night when I got finished, a dude straight up in the front row got about his seat like, nigga, stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Niggas, stop playing. And if I had mo more notoriety, more people would have got up out their seat. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying they know how to. They ain't know what I. They. Ain't, I'm in the. I'm in this place with you know five thousand people, thirty five hundred, four thousand people, somewhere around there, and and they don't know me. They kind of do, but they don't. So, Cause when you know some more says who's on the show, you could tell by the amount of applause. Who's the most popular? And Lavelle is the most popular. She said, Give it, we got Joe Claire in the building. They clap. They say, we got Bruce Bruce in the building. They, Whoa! And they say, we got Lavelle Crawford. They go, ah! <sighs> you know, going crazy. So I'm like, okay, I'm the little man on the totem pole. No problemo. You know what I'm saying? And then it's the pop, 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 pop. That George Foreman, pop. And the shit is, woo! 
You hear me? Now, so 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 Jay says do the set at uh at Bowie and let Eddie open. Here's what we doing, Jason. Jay son. We doing this, we we putting together a I'm in the middle of putting together this one man show about my rap city days, right? And use that one man show to get in the door to a Netflix, a, a Hulu, or somebody, Showtime, a HBO, somebody, right? Use that to get in the door because that's something different. That's something that nobody else has. I can do something that nobody else can do. And that's talk about my days in a, in a comedic way. You, you feel what I mean? Then once I get in the door with that, come back and give them a special. Give them that 30, 45, 50 minutes of me acting a motherfucker fool. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, I ain't even putting that shit on. I'm putting my, all my shit going to shares up. Fuck that. All my shit going to shares up. Put all my shit on shares up. And that's what the fuck we going to do. You know what I'm Nine forty nine. I'm sorry, I had to eat my toast. I don't know if y'all can tell. I love baguettes. Anybody go to Lidl? Who got a Lidl in their in their neighborhood? Make sure you go to Lidl and get yourself a fresh baguette. They're the best in the business. I'm telling you. Mm. Baguette and coffee and more. And Mo, you missed it. I've been talking about being on the West Coast this weekend. I've been on the West Coast this weekend. Aunt Mo, you'd have been very, very proud of me, man. I'm out here smashing, representing the nukes. You understand what I mean? Uh, Robin, I was on Rap City for five and some change. I started in 94 and ended in 99. You feel what I mean? Um, from 94 to 99. I did five years. Um, yeah, make sure y'all get some... Uh, <laughs> I got you, Tiffany. Yeah, when you go to... <laughs> sorry to depart from all this. We sitting here talking about motivation. I'm telling y'all about the weekend. I'm telling y'all about my plans. And then... This goddamn baguette came into play. Lidl know what they doing. Oh, I, I love me some Lidl. You hear me? I love me some Lidl. You been in budget meetings all morning. Oh, shit. Yeah, Aunt Ma was in Sacramento at the Hard Rock Casino. Uh, let me, can I show Aunt Mo the video again? Aunt Mo, check this out. This is from this weekend. Uh, where is the one, the main one? Uh... I think this is it right here. Good night, man. Oh, no, that's everybody leaving. Yeah, this is the wrap up. <coughs> New Jays. That's me getting ready. Then that's the crowd. Look, man, I'm telling y'all, when I come to y'all town, come see my show. And this is right after come I got on. Come see me in your town. Listen. Woo! I ain't brushed my head or nothing. Y'all see my head and my beard nappy. Uh-huh. Y'all see this? Look, man, I'm telling y'all, when I come to y'all town, come see my show. Come see me in your town. Listen. Woo! Yeah, man. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, man. I ain't brushed my beard. And I, shit, I ain't even gonna front. I flew southwest. Mm, I flew south to the motherfucking west. You think I didn't? I sure did. <laughs> Got that safe and sound. Uh huh. Free to roam the country. Had a ball. I got to work my way back up to Delta. And then I got to work my way back up to first class in Delta. That's that. These next couple of years, y'all going to see me. Thank you, Aunt Mo. These next couple, these watch me over these next couple of years. Y'all going to see me fight my way back into touring uh, uh, at, at a higher level. <laughs> no more driving myself. So if I keep it up pretty soon, I get a road manager to go with me. And, then, and help me sell my merchandise and take video for me. And then after that comes, you know, oh, we going you we we got you better plane tickets if I keep smashing it out. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Real shit. Anyway, so I had a ball this weekend, man. Um, and I'm gonna reiterate: chase your dreams. Trace your dreams. Go. After your shit. The world. Hey, this is a simple reminder to tell y'all, go chase your dreams. Go do what you want to with this life. You only get one. I'm on my way back home from rocking out at the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel with some heavyweights and comedy. I had a great set last night. The night before that, I was in Fresno, California. We had a huge auditorium uh, arena full of people we killed that as well and it's all because of decisions i made 30 years ago you know what i'm saying i made some decisions i was scared to make them decisions it didn't sound like it could work it was just a dream but the shit worked and it's still working you understand what i mean go chase yours don't I, if you don't hear no other message today man go chase that all right all right, I'll see y'all back. I'll see y'all in a minute, man. <laughs> Out here being cleasy, man. <laughs> hey, this is a simple. So, go for yours today. I'm going to go for mine. I will see y'all today at 3 o'clock on the DMV zone. Um, That is still good. And I was off on Friday, but I'm back to work <laughs> today. And, man, y'all take it easy. New music coming in the next couple of weeks. And... As y'all can see, we get down September, to, uh, September, Saturday, February 25th. This show going to be, listen, if y'all know about Alex Thomas and Capone and Skeet, you going to know about them. Listen, this show going to be fire. This show is definitely going to be fire. So you want, you definitely want to come on out. I guarantee you, you going to have a good damn time at the show on the 25th. All right. All right. Peace and blessings, y'all. I love y'all. Can we leave with some Joe Claire music today? How about this? Is that my baby? That's you, baby? Cleaning lady come in. And then that's that. Naima make us clean the house before the cleaning lady come. She don't want the cleaning lady to peep think that we nasty. I said, well, why the fuck is the cleaning lady come? Broke the horn on my unit. Here's some real shit. The cleaning lady come. We gotta clean up the house before the cleaning lady come. I said, what kind of backwards ass shit is this? Cause I'm the type that cop a hole. Yeah, that's black people shit. You know, we ain't used to having people come and do for us. So we be, she's scared that the cleaning lady gonna think we nasty. So we clean up the house before the cleaning lady. I said, that's some black woman shit if I ever seen it. I said, boy, that's some black people shit. You don't clean up a hotel room for the cleaning lady coming, that motherfucker. But you gonna clean up your house. Mm -hmm. I don't get that shit. Why are you cleaning up the house before the cleaning people come? And you giving them your money. Gotta go. <laughs>
I love y'all, man. Thank y'all so very much. <laughs> I talk to y'all tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. And then that's that. Hey, watch me light your ass up. And then that's that. I got a bop gun of love and a full ass pack. And I'ma light your ass up. And then that's that. Who in the fuck went and touched my fifties Prince poster? Black album, you niggas. Pull my shit out the holster. Black out on you niggas. Leave hoes where they ain't supposed to. Getting stressed, suppress you vultures like black voters. Hack your hate and quotes you Give your soul a new quota. Wiser and older. Alpha, I older. Recast the Joker, recognize I be about the flow, sir. Oh, sir, Joe, sir, he go, sir, he go, sir. Make a beat, too, so the heartbeat be closer to the whole shit like Pop Talk, the toaster. Flow supposed to have Coke and Cosa Nostra. I got college and qualitative knowledge. Oh, sir, Joe, sir, pro, sir. Park your mind like Rosa in my vintage Testarossa. Paul Newman, Rolex, Kente, drip the shoulder. On our way to see Oprah, she asked us over. I hope Stedman's a smoker. Starfish and coffee in the world on my back. I'm flying with the dolphins with that thing on my lap. I got a block gun of love. Oh, excuse me one second. That's Saha who, Dennis? That's me. Dennis, that's me. You know that's me. And then that's that. I got a bop gun of love and a full ass pack. And I'ma light your ass up. And then that's that. So, wait one minute. I'm off up in it. Awfully authentic, these offerings spit it with no softening in it. Fuck off, all of y'all is awesomely ignorant. How long you been living since the first bars in my first cause? Killing them slight, it had the sparkling finish. Young lady friends that did some awful things in it. Nasty in the 90s with the naughtiest missus. Go get us, you heard Joe, go get them and paint the town red. It was all dope, no fillers, emptying out. Them big ass pillars from up top. I used to cop from one of your niggas. When is your Hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold up before we get off. Everybody, Dennis said, that's me for real? That's you for real? Dennis did not know this was me. Every Oh, Dennis. Hold on, Dennis. Oh, Dennis, you ain't know this was... Hold on, Dennis. Do I got to run the song for him, y'all? Oh, Dennis. Let me show you something, Dennis. Hey, oh, hey, Dennis. I do the tracks, too. This all my, so all the music you heard here this morning is all me. I'm going to leave you with my joint that it came out in 2018. Yeah, this is me, Dennis. Check me out, bro. Oh, I love to make a new fan. I love to make a new fan, Dennis. Hey, Dennis, check me out. I did this track, too. Don't judge me. I said he don't like me, she don't like me. Everybody seems to want me. Check this out, Dennis. Check out the verses, my brother. Say he don't like me and she don't like me. Everybody Check these verses out. Me. Gone, gone, gone. The fucking man on y'all wrong. Caught up in the characters of America's fucked up narrative. They say the straight black man in the black community is a terrorist. Straight black man can't never win. Straight black man is gon' need a therapist. Cause the straight black man is the worst that has ever been. Blaming me for shit I ain't never did. Man, can't a nigga ever live? Can't a nigga ever live? I've been out here killing it. Still trying to sell me that I'm ignorant. Demon can't tell I'm different and diligent. Demon can't tell what a nigga been born suspect, but a nigga been innocent. Man up on him and they mark you as militant. Mark you as mad and belligerent. Man, fuck y'all images. Fuck they images. He don't like me. She don't like me. Everybody seems so all me. platforms, Dennis. Gone, 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 but fuck it, they wrong. Let him know. Tell a friend. Say he don't like me and she don't like me. Everybody seems to want me. A bitch, no. No. What is you calling her a bitch for? Fuck. Watch that bitch glow, watch that bitch blow. Hey. See, that's the part there that you didn't know. Getting mo. Why you hating on her black girl magic? Her black girl drive on her black girl savage. Come on. So divine that she had to hashtag. Woo. Her life matters and she had to have ah. Ah. She been out here killing it. Killing Baby it. figure, but you acting like she ignorant. Ignorant. Paying her less still magnificent. Woo. But you shut your neck glass into little bits. Come on. Master degrees while you master and mad. Ah. Master a master holding you back. Ah. Fuck me, seek up behind me, but boom, I ain't bought up blindly, so boom, you ain't 
gotta remind me Cause bitch my mind be like a flower in bloom Sky with a room, that's the life of Simon and who What's and never should try me then boom Big boom from what's behind me Full pack of black excellent facts Black excellent ass, black excellent stats Won't succumb to your bum ass acts And when your bum ass come ass I done no jack And when your young ass come ass I run that back Cause all my scholars ass scars all upon they back Now let's go She don't like me, Woo. she don't like me Woo. Everybody Woo. seems to want me Gone, gone I'll see y'all tomorrow.